let's continue with the video and um, trying to find a combination but uh, for this butter. So, as you recall, we were here, right? I believe we're down here somewhere. Let's double check that. No, we are here, here, and here. These two face and the whole sensor. Okay, and uh, we tried one run, started from here and that way, right? We came back and we didn't find it. So now I shut down the system. Maybe, maybe that it needs to, you know, it requires that we do that. We don't know. So we're gonna start all over again and try to find it. Now, anyway, you might be wondering why do I go through this whole thing and trying to show you this whole thing. This this uh, session is probably take about four videos, fifteen minutes a, a piece, and it's that, that way you can see the hardship people go when trying to connect an e-bike controller to one motor, especially those that are in the do it yourself. Um, electronics, right? If you want to build your own e-bike, your own go-kart, skateboard, yeah, a lot of people like to use different controllers with different motors. Uh, most of these controllers here already come designed for already manufactured uh, vehicles, right? E-bikes, scooters, go-karts. So then they come from a manufacturing design specific for whatever motor they use. But they also sell these uh, e-bikes uh, everywhere for all the uh, wires if they want to incorporate their type of specific controller that they will like for their specific motors. Me, I'm one that like to build my own thing, so I like to use my controllers for different motors. So when that happens, we encounter this issue in which if you use an e-bike controller, it's kind of difficult to match this to the motor, unless you know specifically that uh, the manufacturer makes a um, controller, it makes a type of motor, and then you can buy both on the same brand manufacturer, and then you can match them quickly, and I believe you won't have any problems. Now, <clears throat> it is an issue, a common issue, all over the social media, like I said, internet, forums out there, all DIYers trying to make uh, their own things and using this e-bikes and motors and trying to match the motors with the controller to run. It's a common issue. So this is what I'm showing you. And uh, rather than using this type of uh, controller, I prefer to use a different type which is a skateboard controller, which I, sh I show you in previous videos, which I have the video for that, a specific controller that I use that I'm gonna load up soon, hopefully after I'm done with this session here, so that way you can see how easy the other controller is. Anyway, <clears throat> let us uh, go through the process again and see if we're lucky, and what we're gonna do is, we're going to find a combination if it works, we'll sort of do the faces again one more time. Maybe we'll find the reverse or forward, whichever we find first. And if it doesn't work, then I'm, I'm going to have to stop there and find it on my own and show you that, yes, it can be done. You can find reverse and forward at the end. Hopefully, I have better answers for you. But in the meantime, this video is just to show you the process because I never seen anyone out there on YouTube doing what I'm doing right now. They generally explain, right? And give you this combinations and tell you to go ahead and apply them and go through the process, but they never show how to do it. So and this is for all of you out there that haven't, don't have an experience on this. This is the method or the process that you sort of match a controller to a motor and make it run. <clears throat> I haven't been lucky in finding the boat yet, both directions, but hopefully I get lucky this time and we'll find it. All right, so let's turn the system on. And just for the hell of it, let's try it, okay? So we're in the blue, blue, yellow, 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 green, green, yellow. 
My faces match. Let me see. Let me double check this. <clears throat> okay, so I guess we're back here. But we're gonna go. We're gonna move back here. We're gonna, we're gonna be right here in this too. So we're gonna do it that way. But let's try it right here right now and see what it does. It's not moving. Yes, right away. Let's go match the colors here. Slap the yellow. So let's make it color matching, okay? All the faces, holes, and the models are matching the colors right now. Let's see what it does. Nope, not running. <clears throat> All right. So let's move to the faces and continue on with the process. Uh, blue, blue, yellow, green. This combination, I found the rotation before. Let's see if I find, we find it this time. It's right there. Let's see. Nope, rough. And if you notice, I found it right here before. Here and here, right there. And now it's not there. Okay. So let's move to yellow and blue. Yellow and blue. <clears throat> Green, green, yellow. Let's try. Oops, let's give me the motor now. Rough. Okay, so we go green, blue. green yellow yellow <clears throat> no no rotation just do what it says here in our no rotation for that no rotation for this no rotation for this but i found it there before that's what i don't i don't understand okay so this next two ones i found that this is where i found the uh, Forward and reverse rotation, yellow, blue. Let's see if we're lucky this time. Yellow, blue, blue, green, and green, yellow. Uh oh, look at that. Looks like I found it. Okay, let's verify the amps. Hope you can see that there. Right? Too high, I think. So that's an AC, not DC. Let's zero it. See, that's one seventy two amps, one point seventy two. Now <clears throat> we are right here. That combination. In this combination right here. Now the last time, if you remember, I said, right? All right, we'll hit right here right now. Okay, the whole sensors are this way. Okay, and the faces are this way. And I said I found green. I. I this is combination. So, oh, let me see that rotation. What's that rotation? Right, it's backwards. Okay. So last time, I found the forward 
motion, wiring it this way. And that's, that's where I show you where I took the face and I went in green, yellow, then I find green in the controller, then I, I find what match on the motorcycle, which is blue, and then I replace green with blue, which is what I did here, see that? Blue, yellow. And then I did it again, yellow, blue, I find yellow, what ma what's on the motor, green, and I replace green with yellow. That's what I did, see, green, blue, and so on. So, let us see if we have this faces here. If we swap the faces this way, we get that forward rotation. All right? <clears throat> so that's, uh, let's see. All right, so let's rotate it. We're gonna go blue, yellow. We wanna screw it up here, or else we'll screw up the rotation. Blue, the yellow, green, blue, okay. Green, blue, and yellow, green. <clears throat> Let's double check. Blue, yellow. Green, blue, and yellow, green, okay. Let's double check. Let's confirm that we have forward rotation. Voila, right it is. Now let's look at the amps. One six, see the same. good for the purpose of this video so now let's go back to the faces rotating to see we get the backward rotation okay so that be green yellow let me see I don't want to screw up here green yellow yellow blue blue green Double check, green, yellow, yellow, blue, blue, green. We should go backwards now, okay? Perfect. Perfect, we're still at two amps, and let's do it one more time. <clears throat> backwards, right? Blue, yellow, blue, yellow. Green, blue, green, blue, and yellow, green. Okay, I want to double check, so I want to screw it up again. I don't want to lose the combination. Blue, yellow, green, blue, and yellow, green. All right, let's check it out. All right, check it out. Forward. All right, so let's do one thing quickly. <clears throat> let's shut down the system and see what it does. Hopefully it'll work with no problems. And if it works here, it'll work if we change the faces again to, to get the backward rotation, okay? So let's power on. Let's see? Perfect. So at this point, I will stick with this rotation and uh, I'm not gonna try it anymore, any, anything else, because I, I have the, what I want. And if I change the holes or the faces, I'm gonna screw everything up. Now, what I wonder is what happened if, if I disconnect it? Does the, did the controller learn that this is the right rotation? Also, what happens if I swap the leads of that motor to this one? Will this one have the same uh, response? And if it doesn't, 
And if I go back to that one, would I lose that combination? I guess that's another video we can find out. All right, stay tuned.